cool. So before we actually put the design onto the computer, let's go over how to actually put and install the material into the actual laser cutter. Now I'll be using a little bit of a you know thicker piece of paper um, that's really kind of the, the, close to the size of the table. But you're probably going to be working with something a little bit smaller, maybe something like this. I always suggest you go ahead using a ruler and getting, you know, measuring twice. Make sure everything is lined up the correct size and knowing how big your thing is. And that's going to be whenever you put design on your computer. On the computer, you're going to figure out that it's not 100% accurate and that you're probably going to have to go through Illustrator to make sure everything's lined up. So measure everything. Um, to, another big part that is vital no matter how big or small your material is, is that you need to make sure the thickness. The computer always tries to make sure how thick the actual material is and if you have it too thick into the computer or too thin, then you're not going to get a perfect cut. So what I like to do is I like to take this calibrator and basically go up to it. Well, make sure it's fully set at zero. Pushed up, fully set at zero. And then you're going to open up and munch on it. When you munch on it, you'll notice that it's about, this material itself is like one. Which is fine, that's normal for a piece of paper. Now, if you were to do it for the light block of wood, you might notice that it's closer to, you know, to, you know, third of an inch, or three fourths of an inch. So, and that's going, you know, depend solely on how thick your material is. I like to say the thinner it is, the easier to work with, and you have to do, you have to know that the laser cutter will not etch anything uh, over one and a half. So just keep that in mind whenever you're doing anything. But going back to this, so we have our measurement. Now let's put this into the actual laser cutter. So I'm going to make sure this paper is fully lined up to the top left corner. That's where the laser starts. That's where the laser ends. It's, you know, the, pretty much your only guiding point to keeping this consistent. So you're gonna put it down there, all the way up to the corner. And I like to use a little bit of masking tape to kind of hand, or nail down where my paper is or where my material is. Sometimes if you have a much wider piece of paper, then you're gonna to have to make sure you have multiple uh, masking tape to go over it, just so you can keep it down and mitigate the rest of it actually moving. So. We've got this pushed down, we got it up to the top left corner, we figured out exactly how thick it is. Now all that's left to actually is boot up the laser cutter. So I actually turned the, uh, the fan on to the back, there's a little green button, I'll show a picture of it in the video, but you always need to turn this on. If you do not turn this on, the fan won't be going and you'll have more problems up here and your design will not work you'll break the laser cutter and you'll be liable for it. So always click the, click the power button. It's at the perfect speed, so don't really worry about it. Don't, you know, just turn it on and then hit the power button. You'll see a green light. You'll hear it move around a little bit back there. It's fine. But other than that, let's get on to our next one.